All right, good afternoon. So I'm sitting here, and right in front of us, we have three small multi-tools. We have the Leatherman Micra, the Gerber Splice, and then we have one from a company called Defiance Tools. <clears throat> I typically carry a Leatherman signal with me. Uh, I carry this with me at work. Um, it's got everything I need and more. The best thing, the, the most useful things are the removable bit driver and the bits that go in. It's got your knife, it's got your pliers, it's got your wire cutters. Um, I actually use the fire starter today on a propane torch. But I carry this with me. My son got it for me because um, I like to camp, I like to overland. My son got it for me. It's been a great and useful tool. I've had it a little bit over a year. You can see how worn it is. I carry it on my belt hoop. Um, but I was looking for something that did not have the standard pliers. So I ended up purchasing a new wallet. This is from Hood and Drink on Amazon. Um, hide and drink, not hood and drink. Um, and the Leatherman fits in here. The Gerber Splice fits in here. Um, Gerber Splice fits on this side here. And the Defiance Tool one also fits in here, even though it is larger. But I was looking for something to carry. So while I'm not carrying my belt loop, I have a tool with me. And I was also looking for something that had scissors instead of pliers. Um, I typically keep a small pair of channel locks. I call them my wizards, keep them with me. So I have that there. So obviously the Leatherman Micra was the first thing that came to mind. The Leatherman Micra has your spring-loaded scissors. It's got a little measuring tape on it. It has tweezers. It has a Phillips driver, which is flat, but it's angled, but that's for the Phillips. It catches two sides of the Phillips drivers. It has a knife blade. It has a larger flat driver, as well as a nail file and pick tool. Leatherman quality, great little tool, the scissors. I've used this to trim my fingernails, which are dirty. I've just got home from work, but I've um, trimmed my fingernails with it. I've used the fingernail pick. It's been good. Then there's the Gerber Splice. The great thing about the Gerber Splice is the tools open from the outside. You do not have to open it like you do the Leatherman Micra. It's got a, a beefier knife blade. It has a serrated knife blade. On the other side, you have your, your tools. You have your flathead, which also doubles as a bottle opener, which grips both sides. But you have your flathead and your bottle opener there. You have a small eyeglass screwdriver. And then you have over here, you have your file and your Phillips bit. Okay, and then of course this opens up as well into a pair of spring-loaded scissors. Okay, and that's the Gerber Splice. The Gerber Splice and the Leather Micra are very similar in size. Micra is the smallest. I don't have all the specs and details about weight or anything else, but it's made out of stainless steel. You know, there, the Gerber Splice is relatively good. I've heard complaints about the pin and the Gerber Splice failing. Um, I gave this to my son so he can carry with his um, tack, his tackle gear and his fishing tackle. So that way he has it and he can cut line and everything else. Gerber had a fishing tool, but this seemed to be a little bit better because he's got screwdrivers and stuff to work on that. But then there's this company, Defiance Tools. Now, I had purchased a Defiance tool at an Overland Expo, their six-in-one barbecue multi-tool. It's pretty neat. It's a pair of tongs. It's a knife. It's a spatula. It's a spork. 
Okay, so I bought this. It came with a keychain. It's their, their scissors slash keychain multi-tool. It came with a little small keychain pliers and stuff. It is a little bit larger. I mean, closed. It's about the size of the Gerber is open. But it too opens up and is a pair of scissors. Also, like the Gerber, you do have tools accessible from the outside, such as your file. Okay. You do have tabs right here on the side of each tool. You have your longer eyeglass bit. You have your can opener. On the other side, you have your flathead screwdriver. You have your Phillips driver. Now, it doesn't look as robust as a Phillips driver <clears throat> as, say, the Gerber one. I mean, it's kind of flat, so it'll do probably as well as the Leatherman one. And then it's got this knife blade, which is very, very sharp. All the tools are brand new, so they are, it should be pretty sharp. But the one thing I've noticed in the two days that I've actually had the Leatherman and the Defiance tool is I wear a uniform at work. And these uniforms, they're washed by Cintas, they come back, they got frayed edges, there's strings hanging off the pockets. I made an attempt to cut that string with the Micra. Didn't cut the string. I pulled out the Defiance tools, cut the string like that cut it again cut it in cut it again i'm going to clip that film in here shortly so you can just watch that it's really short and sweet So, as you can see, this did a better job than this of cutting it. Now, I've cut my fingernails <clears throat> with this. I've used the nail pick. The tweezers are handy for a daily useful tool. But I'm liking the Defiance tool a little bit better as an alternate to my everyday carry Leatherman signal. I'm liking this one a little bit better because it is a little bit more stout. Um, with the tools and the cutting. The knife blade itself works a little bit better. It's it's one of those things where, you know, I have a Leatherman, um, partial to them, but I also think that, you know, Defiance tools, nobody's heard of them. Before I purchased the Splice and the Leatherman, I did some research, and again, you know, there was no issues about which was which. One of the things I want to do is I just purchase some stuff here. I want to take this box, which, I mean, it's actually pretty funny. It's a, it's a Leatherman box. But we're going to go ahead and pull these all out of the way here real quick. And I have a box here. So to cut this, okay, it did cut. It cut through the cardboard. Cut through the cardboard. Cut through the cardboard. This tool seemed to cut a little bit smoother than the Leatherman Micra. Leatherman Micra takes a lot more force. I don't know if you can actually see that. Versus this. It's hard to it's hard to tell like the force from me doing it. But this seems to cut a lot better than the other micro. The Gerber splice cuts fairly well, 
But I think just due to the fact that this is a longer handle here, this tool has more, more force or applying force to the blade. Okay. The tools themselves, they're all very good quality. You know, I, I see no complaints in any of them. Um, fold this one up. The Gerber splice, you know, it's got some some rough edges it feels. You know, just these corners right here. It does have the keychain loop here. Sorry, got the Rona. The leather micro is a little bit smoother. You can see right there, it's a little bit better view of the two inches on each side measuring tape. It too has a keychain tab here on it. The Defiance tool, the Defiance scissors multi tool, does not have a keychain on it. And it does fold up to be a little bit bigger. Okay, you can go ahead and see the sizes there. The Gerber splice is a little bit more narrow than the Defiance ones. The Leatherman is, is very, very small there. Um, we got probably, what, half an inch? Yeah, we got about half an inch larger on the Defiance tool. But again, like I said, I've seen YouTube videos that talk about the leather micro, the Gerber splice, the Victorinox, you know, Swiss Army knife. I yet to see anything about the Defiance tools. Now this is with the same five something, 501, that's a 501, 501 stainless steel is the Leatherman. Um, it seems to be well, you can see the uh, Gerber is brand new. My son, we've had it less than a week. You know, we got some scratches in it, but this has been in my pocket for a little bit for about a week too on my wallet this as well you know but the Gerber seemed to scratch a little bit more each one of them I got this one on Amazon for a deal for 20 bucks this was 20 bucks this is like 24 but again it came with the keychain multi-tool which is just a small pair of needle nose pliers with a couple blades on it um, you know there I'll have a link to all three of these in the description on, on where I got them from, you know, the Defiance tools is actually pretty neat. They have several different um, multi-tools, 16-in-1. They have a uh, this one. They have a couple different ones. They have a knife and uh, multi-tool combo. Uh, but I've had a few Defiance tool things. I have three different Defiance tool rolls that I got, one for each of the trucks. My daughter has one in her truck. My wife has one in her truck. I have a third one out in the garage. Of course, I have a larger tool roll that I carry with me um, with more tools. But I'm actually impressed. I am very impressed with this Defiance Tools multi-tool. Um, as far as the knife portion of it goes, like I said, it is very, very sharp as it is now. You know, it's not that great of a blade as far as lengthwise, but, you know, it's going to get the job done. I like the fact that these pullouts... If you can see, they are staggered. And then on this side again, they are staggered on that side, so it's easier to go ahead and grab those with your nail and pull it out. I do like the fact that this has an eyeglass screwdriver that long on it. I mean, that is, compared to the one that's on the Gerber, which is very small, you know, it's gonna be difficult to get into those eyeglasses like that, but this one right here, it's actually, Goes down to a better point. This is just a flat on one side going down. This, it narrows on both sides. Get into the eyeglasses there. So I don't make repairs nice and easy. Only time will tell how everything, you know, holds up. But you can see this is put together with the um, Allen keys here on both sides. You got the Torx bits there. And then of course, Leatherman has its own thimble type thing. But all in all, I'm very, very impressed, you know, for carrying on your keys or having something in your pocket, these are great. Fortunately, I got the, the hide and drink wallet. So this is just a tuck inside here. 
and it fits in nice and easy. Front pocket wallet, it tucks in there, it stays in, it doesn't fall out, you know, makes it fairly easy. You can stick the Leatherman in here, but then of course, carrying three different multi-tools and everything else, I can usually stick my pair of channel locks in here. Um, very, very small pair of channel locks, like four and a half inches tall. But yeah, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with this Defiance tool. Um, I'll look at more of their products here as we go. I know I have a Super Tool 300 coming in to possibly replace this as I work maintenance. Um, that'll have a little bit more tools, but um, we'll see how that goes. But overall, I'm very, very impressed with this. I'm impressed with this as well, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the uh, miniature multi-tools here with scissors, and uh, pretty happy with that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I haven't put out much content lately um, as far as vehicle-wise or anything else, but I wanted to do something on these. Um, so if you have any questions, shoot me a comment. Give me a like. Subscribe if you want. There's not much that comes out. But let me know. And thank you. And y'all have a blessed day.